from a robot hand to a rubber one, used by PhD students at the University of Freiburg to creatively fool the brain. Whether you're into psychology or whether you're into stroking strangers' hands or indeed into cutlery, uh, I think there really is something in here for everybody. So why is he behaving like he's just been forked? So initially, when he's just sitting there with the fake hand visible in front of him, he knows it's a fake hand. His eyes are telling him it's a fake hand. But when the stroking starts to happen and that information starts coming back from his real hand, those two messages start to conflict with each other. And bit by bit, um, he's starting to believe that this hand that he's seeing is in fact also the hand that he's feeling, even though it's not. So his body readjusts his understanding of where his body parts are and begins to believe that this fake hand here is actually part of his body. So then when his friend comes in with a fork, his brain says, get out of the way, that's my hand. But before you try this at home, a word of warning. If you're gonna try this at home, make sure you remember which one is the rubber hand before you stab it with a fork. That's the part you don't wanna get wrong. <laughs>